All right, guys, good to be back with you again. Apologies for the uh, last game, the marathon game. I think that we had a little bit of uh, encoding overload as I go back and look at that one. Um, I've got a new setup here, and I'm trying to play around with it, figure out what the uh, correct settings are, what the best settings are for the uh, best possible result. So, I mean, we'll see what happens. Please be patient as um, I try to work through this a little bit, see if I can figure out what looks the best and what works the best. We have here for you the White Sox at the Athletics. Um, uh, we'll look at the uh, standings here quickly. If you're new to the replay, you might might be a little bit uh, surprised that the uh, 1908 White Sox, who um, were really part of it almost the whole season in real life, are uh, stuck in fifth place at 13-15, and 15, not playing so well. Philadelphia, meanwhile, at 17-11, um, are up there with Cleveland for first place. And uh, so this is kind of a key game, especially for the athletics. The White Sox need some wins to get back into it, so we'll see what happens. And here is uh, Patsy Doherty to uh, start this off for Chicago. His roll is a 62 for a 12. There is a little E roll. And uh, that roll is a 51 out of the range. There's a ground ball over to Davis. The first baseman fields it and goes to the bag himself for the out one away. George Davis comes up now. Davis uh, rolls. It's a uh, 51 for a 9. That'll be a base hit. And then he's caught trying to steal because of the little C. So there are two away. And here is Fielder Jones. Jones rolls a 24 for a 13 and strikes out. And uh, we go to the bottom of the first. Eddie Collins to lead this one off. Somebody uh, mentioned to me the other day that um, I got uh, Eddie and Jimmy uh, mixed up. I did. Uh, Eddie is the younger. Um, I think uh, 1908 was his second season. Jimmy Collins is the older of the Collins. So um, it's easy to get them mixed up. Happens to the best of us. Uh, Collins' rule is a 35 for a 9. That's a strikeout against Big Ed, and there's one away. Ed Walsh, 4-5 and five is record, 3.40 ERA. You would think that um, Chicago would have a advantage by being able to start him basically every third game. Hasn't been one so far. Danny Murphy rolls a 51 for an 8. It's a pop-up to the left side, and uh, Tannehill has that for the out, 2 away. And here's Rube Oldring. He rolls a 14 for a 47. There is, whoever a little E roll. 52 is the roll, so it's a fly ball to left field. Doherty's got that for the out, and we go to the top of the second. It'll be uh, Jiggs Donahue here for the White Sox. No score yet. Top of the second inning, just getting into the swing of things. Donahue rolls a 30, 13 for 37, changed to 41. That's a ground ball over to short, or second. Sorry, Collins has it on to first. There's one away. Jake adds now. Rolls a 65 for a 35. It's a pop-up right, uh, left side, sorry. And uh, Collins, the other one, has it for the out. Two away. Here is Ed Hahn, who rolls a uh, 61 for a 40. Changed to a 23, and that's going to be an error on the uh, catcher power. So Hahn makes it to first successfully. Here comes Billy Sullivan. Sullivan rolls a 53 for a 19. Changed to 16, and that's going to be a single that will send Hahn to third. And so now Chicago has two hits and um, are looking potentially to uh, score. Here's Lee Tannehill, and uh, he rolls a 25 for a 9. That's a single that'll score one, and it's a one nothing game in favor of the Hitless Wonders. Here now is Ed Walsh. Walsh is hitting 154. Rube Vickers on the mound, by the way, for Philadelphia is 5-2 and two with a 1.39 ERA, but has lost two anyway. The roll is a 14 for a 43. There is a little E. And it's a 26, just missing the range. So it'll be a fly ball over to left field, and uh, Hartzell has that for the out. We go to the bottom of the second. one nothing though, White Sox. The damage has been done. Here is Harry Davis for the Mac men. And uh, Davis rolls a 53 for a 19. That's going to be an error on the third baseman, uh, Tannehill. And so he reaches base, and that'll bring up Topsy Hartzell. Davis uh, does have an 11, so we'll hit and run instead of bunting. Roll this time is a 12 for a 24. It's a ground ball over to second. Uh, Davis throws to first. And the other Davis makes it to second base. How about that? Here comes uh, Simon Nichols with two chances uh, to uh, drive Harry in. Nichols has 16 RBIs, and he rolls a 16 for a 28. It's a ground ball over to at, and he throws to first. Davis moves to third. Two out, and here's Mike Powers. And uh, Powers rolls a 54 for a 45. It's a fly ball to right field, and um, it'll be Hahn making the catch for the out, and we go to the top of the third. Patsy Doherty here to lead this off for Chicago. one nothing game. Roll is a uh, 45 for a 14. That'll be a walk to Doherty, and that'll bring up uh, George Davis. So runner on at first base. Uh, Doherty, uh, can he fly? He can fly. So we'll hit and run again. We love doing that. And the roll is a, a 33 for a 7, and that's why we like to hit and run. It's a single to uh, right field. Doherty goes over to third, and that'll bring up Fielder Jones. And Davis has an 11, so we'll uh, double our pleasure and double our fun. Poor Rube Vickers. 
Roll is a uh, 25 for a 10, and that's going to be a single that scores. I'm sorry, that's a ground out over to uh, Eddie Collins, who throws to first, but the run scores. Davis goes up to second, and it's a 2 nothing game. And so the hit and run keeps him out of the double play. And here comes Jiggs Donahue, runner on at second base, 2 nothing White Sox. Donahue's roll is a 14 for a 43. There is a little E roll. Um, it's a 13. That'll change this to a 20, and that ends up being an error over on the, the uh, second base. Matty Collins allows another runner to score, and Donahue makes it all the way over to second. Here comes Jake Atz now, 3 0 uh, White Sox. And Atz rolls a uh, 46 for a 27 ground ball over to the uh, left side. Collins throws to first for the out. There are two away. And uh, here now is Ed Hahn. Roll for Hahn is a 55 for an 8. It's going to be a comebacker over to uh, Vickers, who throws to first, and uh, we go to the bottom of the third. So Chicago, three runs here in this one, and uh, here comes Jimmy Collins for the Athletics. Collins hitting 181, which is why he's hitting 8. Rolls a 43 for a 29, and that's going to be a comebacker to Ed Walsh, and uh, he'll throw to first, one away. Here now, Rube Vickers. Vickers rolls a 54 for a 45. There is a little E. 26 it's out of the rain so it's a fly ball over to right field and uh han has that for the out two away and here now is eddie collins collins today 0 for one with the strikeout rolls a 45 for a 14 and takes his base on a walk we'll bring up danny murphy murphy rolls a uh, 51 for an eight and that'll be a uh, ground ball to the left side uh third baseman uh Tannehill has that throws to first and we go to the top of the fourth four three nothings sorry uh, white Sox. they have four hits and uh, here comes billy sullivan Sullivan's roll is a 14 for a 43. There's a little E roll. It's a 45 out of the range. It's a fly ball over to left field. Hartzell's got that for the out, one away. Here now is uh, Lee Tannehill. He rolls a uh, 46 for a 27 ground ball. Left side, uh, Collins has that on to first, and there's two away. And here comes Ed Walsh hitting a lowly 148. He rolls a 54 for a 45. It's a fly ball right field. Murphy's got that for the out, and we go to the bottom of the fourth. Rube Oldring up there against uh, Ed Walsh. Rolls a 16 for a 28 ground ball to Atz at short. He throws to first, and there's one away. Harry Davis now. Rolls a 42 for a 14 and takes his um, base on balls. That's number 19 given up by Walsh so far this season. And here comes Topsy Hartzell. Rolls a 62 for a 12. It's a ground ball over ground ball uh, uh, over to Atz, who uh, makes the play, flips to Davis for one, and on to Donahue for the double play. We go to the top of the fifth, and it's a uh, three nothing game still in favor of Chicago. Here's Patsy Doherty, rolls a 25 for an 11, single to left, and then he steals second, gets himself in the scoring position here now for George Davis. Three nothing White Sox, five hits for them. Davis rolls a 43 for a 29, come backer to Rube Vickers, who throws the first for the out, and Doherty moves to third. They'll bring up Fielder Jones. Jones rolls a 53 for a 15, change to 17. That'll be a fly ball over to right. Murphy tries to catch that one, drops it, misplays it. Jones makes first on that, and that's the second, fourth error, I'm sorry, on Philadelphia. Another run scores. It's a 4 nothing game, and here comes Jiggs Donahue. Jiggs rolls a 52 for a 27, and that's a ground ball over to Collins. The third baseman on to Eddie Collins for one, and then back on to Davis for the double play. We go to the bottom of the fifth inning. It will be uh, Simon Nichols to lead this off, and uh, Jimmy Collins' uh, lack of, uh, I'm sorry, Eddie Collins, no, Jimmy Collins' lack of uh, base running ability is what hurt him there. That's what caused that double play. And here comes uh, Simon Nichols for the Athletics. Roll for Nichols is a 46 uh, for a 27 ground ball over to Tannehill, who throws to first. There's one away. Mike Powers now. Rolls a uh, 15 for a 9. It's a single over short against Walsh. That's the first base hit of the game for the Athletics, and that'll bring up Jimmy Collins. Collins, really not much else he can do here. He's going to bunt. Rolls a 41 for a 28. It's a good bunt over to Walsh, who throws over to uh, Davis covering a first, and Powers makes it to second, but there are two men out now. Here comes Vickers, and his roll is a 41 for a 24. It's a pop-up over to the shortstop. Atz has that for the out. We go to the top of the 6. It will be Jake Atz to lead this one off. Rolls a 56 for a 34. There's a little E roll. A little E roll is a 22, so it's in the range, and that'll change to a 20. That's a uh, error on the second baseman, uh, Eddie Collins. They're number five on Philadelphia, so they're trying to lead the league, and um, all they're doing is committing all the errors. That'll bring up uh, Ed Hahn, and Atz um, does have an 11, so we'll uh, send him flying. 
Rolls the 26 for a 27. It's a ground ball over to third, and uh, Jimmy Collins throws to first, but Atz makes it to second, one away. Here's Billy Sullivan. His rolls a 21 for a 30, fly ball left field, and Hartzell's got that for the out. There's two away, and here comes Lee Tannehill. Tannehill hitting 147. All these White Sox not hitting very well, but they're scoring runs today. The rolls a 15 for an A. That's a comebacker over to uh, Vickers, who throws to first. We go to the bottom of the six. It'll be Eddie Collins here for Philadelphia. Eddie's rolls a 33 for a zero, so they do finally get the walls. Next roll is a 54 for a six, and that'll be a double to right center field. And here comes Danny Murphy. Only hit number two for the Athletics. They have one in scoring position. Let's see if Murphy can get it done. He's hitting 259. He's driven in 12. And uh, his roll is a 36 for a 33. There is a little E roll. A 43 just out of the range, and that's going to be a pop-up over to the left side. Adds the shortstop has that for the out, and there is uh, one away. Here now Rube Oldring. Oldring rolls a 31 for a 22 change to a 20, and that's going to be a ground ball over to Davis, who throws to first. Collins moves over to third. Two away, and here comes Harry Davis. And look at that. Davis rolls a 66 for a zero. And the next roll is 61 for a six, so that's going to be a double for Davis. That'll score a run, and it's a four to one game. Don't count Philadelphia out yet. And here comes Topsy Hartzell, that famous player everybody wanted back in 1901, 1900. His rolls a 55 for an 8, and it's a comeback over to Ed Walsh, who throws the first for the out. We go to the top of the 7th. Here is Ed Walsh, who, of course, will stay in this game as always. Uh, he's been given now a 3-run lead. It was a 4-run lead at one point. See if he can make it stand up. His rolls a 44 for an 8. Ground ball over to short, and uh, Nichols throws the first. One away. Patsy Doherty comes up. Rolls a uh, 23 for a 32 fly ball right field, and uh, it's going to be uh, Murphy making the catch. Two away, and here's George Davis. Roll is a uh, 36 for a 33. There is a little E roll. It's a 23, so that's going to end up being another error. That'll be error number six on Philadelphia. Error on Rube Vickers, the pitcher. Six errors for the Athletics, and here comes Fielder Jones. Can't be in first place. You're making six errors. Jones rolls a uh, 23 for a 32 fly ball center field. Oldring has that for the out. We'll go to the bottom of the seventh inning. It's a 4-1 game in favor of uh, Chicago. Here now, Simon Nichols. And he rolls a uh, 25 for a nine. That's a base hit against Walsh. Hit number four against him. That'll bring up Mike Powers. Now, what do you do here? So Nichols does not have that uh, all-necessary 11. Do you bunt and rely on Collins? Uh, I think that's probably the best thing you can do here. And, yeah, the rules are 33 for an 8. It would have been an out anyway. And says the bunt back to Walsh, who throws over to Davis, covering a first. Nichols makes it to second. One away, and here comes Jimmy Collins. He's driven in 10, despite the fact that he's not getting any hit. And look at that. His rules are 22 for a 7. That's a base hit. That'll score the runner. It's a 4-2 to ball game. And here comes uh, Rube Vickers. So the plan works. 4-2 to two now the score. Five hits for the Athletics, and Vickers will bunt. Collins is too short, slow for anything else. The roll is a 56 for a 34, and here comes that little E roll. And look at that, it's a 14. There's going to be an error this time on the White Sox. It's changed to an 18. That's going to be an error again on the pitcher, Walsh. Two errors on the White Sox as opposed to six on the Athletics, and that'll bring up Eddie Collins. Runners on at first and second here, and this has been a lot of wild and willy fun here with um, uh, not a, a lot of time, or, or with uh, not a lot of time remaining. Four to two the score, and this can turn around in a hurry. Collins is one for two with a double, did score a run. He's hitting 302, 472 slugging percentage. And his roll is a 22 for a seven. That's a base hit. That'll score one and send Vickers all the way to third base. And um, it is happening, folks. It is happening here. And the um, athletics um, are uh, coming back in this one. And uh, just like that, it is a 4-3 to three ball game, and here comes Danny Murphy. Collins can fly. No, he can't. He doesn't have that um, 11. And so uh, we're going to uh, move the infield in, uh, but we're going to swing away, I think, with Murphy instead. Oh, well, I don't know. Should we bunt? I'm trying to look at the number of 13s. He's got a number of 13s here, so it's kind of uh, precarious to do. But let's give this a try. Um, we want to put the suicide squeeze on. We'll see if Vickers can go stand on top of the plate. Now, I know in the last game we got in trouble for doing this a lot. Let's see what happens in this one. Rolls a 65 for a 35. is going to be a foul strike. We'll do this again. Safety, safety squeeze is not on. We don't do it safe around these parts. And Murphy rolls a 15 for an 11. That's a bunt for a single. That'll score one. And the other one, Collins, goes over to third. 
and this is a tie ball game, just like that here, bottom of the seventh inning, the Athletics have come back. How about that? So uh, we just had a real exciting one that seemed to uh, last forever, and now we've tied this one as well. Here comes Rube Oldring. Murphy uh, is a slow runner on first, but he has the 11. We're going to have him go fly. Let's see what happens. Rolls a 26 for a 27. There's a uh, hit and run ground ball. Ground ball over to third base, and uh, the only play for Tannehill first base. Collins can't move up with that ground ball hit in front of him, so there's two men out now. And here comes Harry Davis. 4-4 four, four the game. Ed Walsh has fallen apart yet again. Seven hits for the Athletics, and here is Davis. He does have a base open. He's one for two today. I'm just trying to think. Do you walk him here? I think that we do. We're going to go ahead and walk him, and we will issue the intentional walk. Roll was a 62. It would have been a 12. It would have gotten a Walsh out of the inning. That will bring up Hartzell now with the bases loaded deliberately. Is a play at any base. Let's see if it comes back to haunt us. Roll is a 46 for a 29. That's going to be a comeback over to Walsh. Throws the first the easy way, and we go to the top of the eighth. But not before Philadelphia has scored three in the bottom of the seventh. It's a 4-4 ball game. Maybe having Ed Walsh start every third game doesn't help you that much. Here's Jiggs Donahue. Donahue rolls a 65 for a 35. There is another little E roll. Six errors already in the athletics. 65 is the roll. It's a pop-up over to the third baseman, Collins, who has that for the out one away. Jake Atts now rolls a 56 for a 34. Another little E roll. Going to be a 44, and that's going to be a pop-up, this time over to Nichols, the shortstop. Two gone, and here's Ed Hahn. And the roll is a 41 for a 28 ground ball to Otz at, uh, I'm sorry, ground ball over to Nichols at short, who throws the first. And uh, we go to the bottom of the eighth inning. It will be Simon Nichols to lead this one off. And the roll is a 45 for a 14. That'll be a walk for him. That'll bring up Mike Powers. And you know what time it is. It is bunt o'clock. So Powers obviously going to bunt. Rolls a 44 for an A. That's a good bun back to Walsh, who throws over to Davis covering a first, and that will bring up Jimmy Collins again with a chance to drive in another one. He's one for two today with that single, driving in that run, hitting at 187. Rolls a 36 for a 33. That's not what you want to see. Here's a little E roll. It's a 54 out of the range. It's a pop-up over to Atts, the shortstop, two away, and here comes Rube Vickers. Vickers is 0 for 2. Did make it to uh, first on that air on that sacrifice last time up. That was in the 7th. And look at that. His rolls a 44 for an 8. That's a comeback over to Walsh. She throws the first for the out, and we go to the bottom of the ninth. So uh, a lot of poor luck there for the Athletics. Here comes Billy Sullivan. Rolls a 52 for a 27. Ground ball over to Jimmy Collins. She throws the first. There's one away. Lee Tannehill now. And uh, the roll is a 12 for a 24. And uh, Little Eber holds an 11. That's another error on the Athletics. It's a 19. That's the seventh error of the ball game. That's an error on uh, the uh, third baseman, Jimmy Collins. And that'll bring up Ed Walsh with a runner on at first. Tie ball game. He's going to have to bunt. Seven errors in Philadelphia, and they're still in this one. Rolls a 25 for a 9. That's a ground. That's a bunt over to the left side. Collins has it this time. Throws over to the other Collins covering at first. There's two away, and here's Patsy Doherty, runner on in scoring position, and uh, Patsy rolls a 61 for a 42, and that'll be a hit by pitch. So uh, Vickers um, is a D, and is falling apart. Here's now George Davis. Only five hits for the White Sox, by the way. They don't call him the Hillis, Hillis Wonders for nothing. Davis rolls a 64 for a 13. That's uh, Vickers' second strikeout, and that'll do that, and we go to the bottom of the ninth inning. Will be uh, Eddie Collins to lead this off against Ed Walsh. Walsh again with a four and five record has had a lot of poor luck. You can look back on the uh, White Sox games we've played already and see some of that. Here comes Collins, who's uh, two for three today. He's had a good day at the plate. He rolls a twenty-one for a thirty. Fly ball to Doherty and left for the first out. One gone. Danny Murphy now rolls a forty-two for a thirteen and strikes out. There's two away. Here comes Drew Bouldering. Oldring rolls a 54 for a 45 to fly ball to right, and Hahn has that for the out. We go to the top of the 10th inning. And here comes Fielder Jones. So uh, Vickers will stay in this game for the time being. Rolls a 21 for a 30, fly ball to left. Hartzell's got that one away. Jigs Donahue now for Chicago. Rolls a uh, 14 for a 43. There is a little E roll. 56. It's a fly ball over to left, and Hartzell's got that for the out. Two gone. Here comes Jake Atts. 4-4 game, top of the 10th. His roll is a, a 44 for a 9. That's a single, but then he's caught uh, trying to steal. And so we'll go to the bottom of the 10th inning. It'll be Harry Davis here for the uh, hometown athletics. 
Everybody's looking for that run. And look at that. Davis rolls an 11 for a zero. Now, can he get a big roll? It's a 13 for a six. So, uh, well, it's not the roll that you were looking for, but um, it's something. That's going to be a double for Davis. And so he will lead off the top of the 10th inning on uh, second base. Uh, bottom, I'm sorry, of the 10th inning. And uh, that'll bring up uh, Topsy Hartzell. Runner on his second. Hartzell so far today is 0 for 4. Only driven in seven runs. I mean, you could bunt. I don't think it does you any good. So I think we're going to have Topsy uh, swing away. Amazing, by the way, the Walsh is a 14. He's still a B, and he's given up eight hits. He keeps giving up hits. That's his problem. A roll is a 41 for a 28, and that's a ground ball over to short. Atz has that and throws the first for the out. And uh, there's one away here in the bottom of the 10th. The infield has to come in. So uh, despite the fact that Philadelphia has given up uh, seven errors in this game, um, and uh, despite the fact that um, it clearly seems that uh, they're about to uh, blow this one or that, they're, um, uh, that they should have blown this one a long time ago, they're in a position to win this ball game. Here comes Simon Nichols, who's one for three, did score a run, and he walked. Infield will come in. We're going to have him swing away instead of bunting, I think. I don't know. Do you have him bunt? How many 13s does he have? He has one, two, three 13 rolls. That's the thing that you worry about the most, right? We could have him bunt here. Davis isn't slow, wouldn't do that much bad, and uh, though the infield will be in, I mean, let's see what happens. Let's uh, give this a try. And the roll is a 34 for a 44. That's uh, going to be a good one. Uh, here comes the little E roll. It's a 24 just missing the range, and that's a good bunt over to Walsh, and he uh, has no play on it, and uh, that will score the run, and uh, it's a walk-off hit for Simon Nichols, and that's hit number nine off of Walsh. And there's your ball game. So Philadelphia wins this one uh, in 10 innings, 5-4, to four, and there you have it. I will talk with you again tomorrow. I'll talk to you then. Bye.